लाइटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ करेंट कन्वर्सन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इनर्जी इन टू लाइट इनर्जी बाय एन इलेक्ट्रिक लैम्प इज कॉल लाइटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ करेंट इट दिस कैन लाइटिंग इफेक्ट कैन बी डिफाइन दिस वे एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक लैम्प इलेक्ट्रिक लैम्प आर डिजाइन टू कन्वर्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल इनर्जी इन टू लाइट इनर्जी basically it is of two types one is called filament lamp another is called fluorescent lamp now let's talk about the first one filament lamp filament lamp actually filament lamp is like this this is the upper part of filament lamp which is made up of metal and the lower part is made up of glass it is somewhat like this this is filament lamp this these two are contact points and there is thick glass inside it which goes up to about a center and one of the conductor comes from one of the contact point and another conductor is connected to another contact point So behind the metal that's why dot line is used now when it comes out i mean to say in the glass then i am showing straight line this is thick glass and it comes up to the central part now these two terminals are connected by means of the filament and this filament is made up of tungsten metal so this is called filament lamp okay these two are contact points and this is holder pin because of this holder pin it can be inserted into the holder and can be fixed into the holder now this is metal cover this is thick glass this is thin glass ball this is conductor this is tungsten filament and the bulb is filled with nitrogen or argon argon gas now looking at this we can understand its construction easily from these two points actually one of the point is connected to live line another point is connected to neutral line and when we switch on the circuit from live line current comes and it passes through the tungsten filament and yes the circuit is completed by another point now this tungsten filament is the major element of this filament lamp when current enters into it its resistance is very high so because of very high resistant resistance it obstructs the flow of current a lot and it becomes white hot and converts electrical energy into light energy it becomes white hot at a temperature of 2200 degrees celsius to 
2900 degrees Celsius is very high temperature. Many metal melts at this temperature, but a very uh, high melting point material tungsten is selected because its melting temperature is about 3400 degrees Celsius. So even after being white hot, it doesn't melt. That's why tungsten is selected. Okay, I want to focus on some other matter related with this filament lamp. First point, why tungsten is used? Just now I told that it has, number one, high resistance. That's why it is used, because we need high resistance, which must obstruct the flow of current a lot, and the filament should be white hot, then only the white hot filament can emit light. So. A substance having very high resistance, tungsten is selected. Now, second is melting point. MPT, certainly. Melting point is very high. About melting point is very high. So it is selected. Its melting point is about 3400 degrees Celsius. And it has to be white hot at the temperature of this much and many metal melts at this temperature so we have selected a metal which does not melt at this temperature also or which doesn't melt in whiter condition also so a material having very high melting point that is about 3400 degrees celsius is selected now next thing why this bulb is filled with nitrogen or argon gas there are two reasons why it is filled with nitrogen or argon gas. The first reason is to cut off the contact of oxygen with hot filament. Otherwise, the oxygen contained in the air, if comes in contact with tungsten, when tungsten is hot and if contact of oxygen is made with tungsten, then tungsten reacts with oxygen to form tungsten oxide and the thin tungsten filament becomes more thinner and thinner and at last it breaks. Within few days it will break if it comes in contact with atmospheric oxygen. Most of the metal reacts with atmospheric oxygen in hot condition, tungsten also reacts. That's why we have to remove air from this bulb. So to remove the contact of atmospheric oxygen with the tungsten filament, it is filled with nitrogen gas or argon gas. There is another reason also. Another reason is we can make vacuum here also, but at, the, at this time what happens if it is made just vacuum, I mean to say no, nothing is inside this bulb, then the tungsten filament begins to, begins to vaporate, vaporize. And this evaporated tungsten forms a layer on the inner surface, a blackened layer forms on the inner surface. Because of this black layer, light cannot come out. Light is blocked. So, to reduce the evaporation of tungsten filament, it must be filled with nitrogen gas or argon gas. That's why there are two regions of filling up of nitrogen or argon gas. Number one, to cut off, cut off the contact, the contact of, of oxygen with hot filament. And another reason what I told just now, to reduce the rate of evaporation of filament otherwise it will evaporate and forms a blackened layer and that blocks the light to come out 